Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today is Friday, March 31st, 2023. And today I'm talking about COVIDing. So are you still COVIDing? COVIDing is a term that I hear a lot on social media. It's a term that basically describes COVID avoidance behaviors. Now, on March 12th, the Washington Post published an article uh, with interviews of some well-known experts that we've heard from during this pandemic. They included the CDC director, Dr. Rochelle Walensky, and Dr. Peter Hotez, amongst others. And the article asked them basically what kind of COVID precautions are they continuing to make in their everyday lives. So these experts acknowledge that most of them are wearing masks indoors with when they're around a lot of people. Most have started back to dining indoors at restaurants and normalizing their social lives, going to parties, taking vacations, and even one was planning a cruise vacation. Now they emphasized over and over that they've been vaccinated and boosted, and many of them have had uh, one COVID infection. So every March, since March 2020, I always reassess my personal situation and decide what I'm going to do around my COVID mis uh, mitigation strategies. Now, I confess I still try to avoid COVID, uh, getting COVID as much as possible. I wear my mask out in public. I will test if I f feel that I need to. And I've had five COVID vaccines, although I'll admit I'm not in any hurry to get another one. I may have missed out on a few things these past years, but unfortunately, I know too many people who are going to miss out on things forever because their bout with COVID put them six feet under the ground. So what am I doing around COVIDing? Well, one of my YouTube subscribers has repeatedly asked me to focus on moving away from unhealthy diets and talking about this because unhealthy diets promote obesity, which is a major comorbidity for COVID. And I've talked about that. Uh, unhealthy diets uh, promote inflammation, which weakens the immune system. But before I talked about this, I really felt I needed to do a better job walking the walk before I talked the talk. So making a effort to improve my nutritional status has been a big focus of my COVIDing and working on those critical things that will help keep my immune system strong, keeping my blood pressure controlled, being physically active, making better nutritional choices daily, and getting enough sleep. Now, I do take uh, a vitamin supplement. Despite the lack of evidence, I take vitamin D and B12 and a vitamin and mineral supplement because, you know, my diet may not be as rich in selenium or zinc or uh, magnesium as I would like for it to be. So I take a mineral supplement and I'm trying to work on reducing my intake of refined sugar because that fosters inflammation. So working on my health is a huge focus of my COVIDing and I'm sharing that in case you want to make it a huge focus of your COVID prevention and mitigation strategy. So let's celebrate. I know I'm celebrating. You know, we survived March 2020, March 2021, March 2022, and now we've survived March 2023. Four marches into this pandemic, and we'll just keep marching forward. That's my message today. Be well, folks, and take care.